The OBS project has released a brand new version of the best open source broadcasting software, OBS Studio. And actually the best broadcasting software. It doesn't, just because it's open source, it's just awesome that it's not a qualifier. It's also still awesome. Anyway, OBS Studio 31.1 is here. And you might think this is just a minor release from 31.0, but oh no. This has a lot of awesome features, especially for us Linux users. Let's start things off with a new feature, multi-track video on Linux and macOS. Multi-track enables OBS to send different quality video streams like 720p, 1080p, and etc. to streaming services directly. Multi-track video outputs uh, also adds support for additional canvases, network tweaks, and TCP pacing, and support for stream delay. And if that wasn't enough to be excited for this release, they also introduced explicit sync pipe wire capture for stutter-free, low-latency screen recording. I recently had a recording where my audio was slightly out of sync, just ever so slightly, so I had to address it in post. And the phrase, fix it in post, is one of the scariest things you can say in media production. So this, thank you. Oh, you're still not impressed? Okay, well, how about hardware accelerator browser sources on Linux? Yes, that's right. Now your browser sources can run much more efficient than just being on your CPU. Although there is a slight catch here. NVIDIA GPUs don't have support for this just yet. At some point they might, but the reason they said is that feature support inconsistencies across model series and driver series is why they don't yet. They've also made some improvements to the UI overall. They have new uh, density controls, so you can have like a compact style if you want to, or the default style, or that sort of thing. You can change like the font sizes and that thing. Uh, there's also some improvements to the preview window because you now have zoom controls right at the bottom of the preview window. And there's a lot more, including of course, uh, bug fixes and various patches. I am currently running OBS 31.1 right now to make this show. But unfortunately, I did not have time to play with all the new features, but I am very excited about it, especially the hardware accelerated browser features. The hardware accelerated browser source that kind of, that's so cool about offloading the rendering of the in-stream overlays, chat boxes, and all that. Sounds so good. I'll let you know my opinion of this release of OBS on the next live stream. Not in the next episode. If you're in the live stream for the next one, which will be next week on next Friday, for those who don't know when we live stream, you'll find, my, my, find out my opinion of OBS 31.1 then.